How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Gimke Fell Breaks, the Bobby Dazzler, number 1514. Hope you're having a great day out there. I'm feeling a bit red. I <laughs> uh, hope, hope all is well out there in Cardland. Uh, today we are doing two Prestige 2021 five starter packs at 16 certified and a 214 honours. A bit of a nice mix up there for the Bobby. Uh, trade wise. We've got the Crows and the Lions, and then the Lions and the Swans, Bombers, Hawks, and Eagles, GWS. So they are the trades for you. What have we got here? All right. No worries. Got the chat up. Other than that, um, also if you hit in the break and want to get registered or express post please message me and we can organize that uh, what else is there i think there's a nfl there's like eight or nine spots left pick your team so your team could be available so check that out on gimco.com.au uh, there's a nba i believe as well Christos bringing that. He's been bringing the monster hits. The big fella. He is dominating the NBA in all, all ways. Lamello City. <laughs> and also an NRL up there with about seven spots left as well. And also... Tonight, sometime, the Sabo Brownie will be bringing another AFL break. Listing another AFL, so keep an eye out for that on Gimco. G'day, Rhino. How's it going? All the way from Perth. <laughs> oh, good. To, we go worldwide. <laughs> All right. Good luck, everyone. We'll get into this. Good luck. Hopefully, I can bring your team some hits. Let's go. Oh, there they all are. All right. Prestige, always last. It's too too good to go beforehand. All right. Let's, let's not get these starter packs out of the way. We'll do them first. There's one. And there's not many of these around the starter packs. Hard to find now. Okay. Four. And last but not least, the fifth one. Anything can happen in these starters. Uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah. So the Tigers start us off with Dylan Grimes fire first. The Tigers snacks twenty eight. Welcome to the breaks and good start for you. We'll go down here next to that. Yeah, why not? There you go, Brendan. How's it going? Well, decided to open a pack just for the Daniel Talia. <laughs> Thought, why not? Let's open one pack. And Callum Brown. Camo. Just spread it out a bit. All right. Next fire is Blake Hardwick for the Hawks. So that. Sean has the Hawks. Got his hawks. Get the West Coast out, eh? All right. No worries, Brendan. All the way from Bunbury. So we got one from Perth and one from Bunbury. WA representing. Well done, lads. All right. Let's see what we got here. Luke 
Jackson Fireburst for the D's. He's got the D's. Demons. Where are they on the list? Ebbs 88. Alright, next cab off the rank is for the Saints. Callum Wilkie. Fireburst. For the Saints. They will go to Blocker. And last but not least, West Coast. There you go. And then you're on the board. Jeremy McGovern, Fireburst. Go Lions, Ferrano. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what we got here. We got Blakey for the Swans. And Oscar McInerney, Rizzy Lions. Camo. See what else is in here. Ben Patton, St Kilda, and 150 game milestone. Rory Laird for the Crows. Oh, Crows get one there. And the Crows is Collector King. Yeah, he's a Crow supporter. Tim O'Brien. For the Hawks and Matty Rao, Camo for the Suns. What we got here? Eddie Betts for Carlton and Will Setterfield as well. Camo for Carlton. <laughs> We got Jared Berry, Lions, and the old comp card strikes again. How's your days been, Brendan and Rhino? Having a good one, hopefully. Darcy Fogarty, the Crows, and Rory Sloan as well, game breaker. Right, collect the King gets those. Liam Duggan, West Coast. And here's another one of those comp cards. In 10 G's. Ah, good to hear. Yeah, I'm going all right. No problems. Just getting everything sorted for the last day before 1st of July, end of financial year. Curtis Taylor, the North, and... Dyson Heppel, game breaker for the Bombers. Uh, Bombers, kill them eyes. What do we got here? Jack Scrimshaw, Hawks, and 250 game milestone, Paddy Dangerfield for the Cats. Who's got the Cats? EB66. Ooh. He's a new guy as well. Good to, good to see. Then we got here James Robottom, Swans, and Neville Jetta for the D's. Camo. Dylan Grimes, Tigers, and Reese Madison. Rizzy Lions. Camo. Callum for the Saints. And Jaden Shaw Acetate for the Tigers. Snacks 28. There you go, one. On the Snacks. We got here Mark O'Connor. The Cats. And Adam Chera. Camo Burst, Freeman Dockers. Last pack from the starters. Trent McKenzie, the Port, and Tim Taranto, Game Breaker. GWS. There's the Kev GWS. 
What do we get? Oh, well, where can we throw these? Get these here for now. All right, what shall we go? 216 certified. Why not? Who will win the flag this year? Whoo! I don't know who will win the flag, to be honest. Melbourne, Bulldogs, Cats, Port. Ah, oh, good day, Uncle Fakes. Here's a gal. <laughs> Sorry you were late. Well, um, I think you might have just, just in time. All right. In lockdown. <laughs> Where are you in lockdown? Uh, all coming there. <laughs> uh, Brizzy Lions. I named. I named like three, four teams. Hey, Stevie J, GWS, 460. Number 267. Lockdown in the Melbourne Hotel. Ooh, big lockdowns happening everywhere around the country. The only safest place, <laughs> funny to say, is Melbourne at the moment. Uh, swings and roundabouts, definitely. Rob Murphy and the Bulldogs. Hey, Bobby Murphy. He's got the doggies. Bungle 47. Early payout, you reckon? Oh, all right. Andrew Gaff. All Australian for West Coast. There you go, Brendan. I reckon Melbourne is the red. I I have seen a stat today. They've been they've won all their games against top eight teams, so pretty good. Adam Saad, Sir 460. For the Suns, number 79. Oh, he, he's been around a fair bit. All right. Harrison Himmelberg. Rookie card for the Giants. Kev GWS. Nice one there. Nice rookie. 127. <laughs> yeah, but the next best was... Um, I think Bulldogs and the Cats, they'd lost three games against the top top eight teams. So, there you go. Sydney Swans. 460. Oh, the number 100. <laughs> the sneaky logo 100. Look at the Swannies. Grant Birchall for the Hawks. 380. Suspect in finals. Yeah, that's true. They 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 may come under too much pressure in finals. I haven't been there for a while. Eastern Wood with the Bulldogs. Team leaders. Oh, your beauty. Double O three. Ring the bell. Double O three. Very nice. Look at him there. Tigers make the eight. Rhino reckons. Cool. I think they do have a good run home, the Tigers. So they should make the eight. But the way this season's going, you just don't know. Speaking of Tigers, Alex Rance. All Australian. I'll go to Snacks. 
Yeah, that's what it, it always comes down. Full line average. Yeah, but if you're getting it in there enough, I guess you can put scores on line, fakes, but you may be right. Yeah, and injuries will become a factor. Jack Billings for the Saints. Number 50. And some nice round numbers. All Australian. Josh Gibson for the Hawks. Hawks. Who's here? The Hawks. Sean does. Team leaders. Shannon Hearn. The West Coast Eagles. Number 39. There's the Brendan. Well done. They have had a great run with injury. 13 players have played all games. Only is 30 on. Wow. They have had a good run. I think most teams are averaging 36 or 37 at least. Yeah, you get under that, you're doing well. Matthew Hayball for Geelong, rookie card. EB66, and that's number 90. Geelong sitting there, no awesome. Matty Tabner for the Dockers with the 302. These stats are courtesy of Uncle Fix. <laughs> I love it. Taylor Adams for the for the pies with the 181. Where's got the make pies by the way today? Brooksy. All commons there. What kind of motel they stuck you in? Because I know there's a few teams coming here, so there's going to be a fight over over the motels. Who gets the five to one star? <laughs> Josh Wagner for the D's one one five. It would. It's an interesting because uh, it would have been fastest. Uh, Finger on the pulse. <laughs> All right, we have a signature here, and it is Jack Stephen. Oh, St. Kilda, the Saints. Blocker, number 17. Oh, I wonder if Blocker will like this or not. Being a Cats, Cats collector and supporter, will he like the Jack Stephen? Signature. <laughs> Which three teams? Oh, here we go, Rhino, with the with the quiz. We are at the Park Royal at Albert Park. Ah, nice, Uncle Fakes. Which three teams haven't played in a grand final since two thousand? Well. Carlton would be one of them, I'd say. Robbie Gray, all Australian. Probably Melbourne and Essendon. That's just off. Um, I think there's more than three. When did Melbourne play in a grand final since 2000? Unless we're counting 2000, I guess. Got here. We have Jackson Tringove from Port Adelaide, 425. Yeah, right there. Ah, oh, okay. Well, there you go. Oh, well, there's Gold Coast as well. Well, Roos, Blues, and Suns. 
So we're counting 2,000 as well, Rowan A said. So, all right. There you go. Well, that's about right then. All right. We got Matt Day. Or DA. But the Bombers, 139. I like it, Rhino. I like it very much. I like the little quizzes. <laughs> G'day, Kev GWS. How's it going? Dane Beams. Beamsy for the Lions. 121. I just couldn't get his... Didn't matter where he was playing in the end. Just couldn't get his head right. Very vague question. Uncle Fags would be more specific. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Let's give us another one, Fags. <laughs> yeah, all comments there. What else are we going to find in here? Come on now. We've got Kane Lambert. And the Tigers, 392. Sam Carriage, the Carlton, <laughs> 376. Ah, you would have said this century. Lockdown on holiday, go fear. Yeah, that happens here too. Pete Shaw, all Australian for the Giants. There you go, Kev. Yeah, imagine if that that question was on the million dollar hot seat. Yeah, that would that would hurt. <laughs> All right, honors one. Come on, we need a lift. I think the old red's not working for us today. Might have to swap out. Yeah, we'll go we'll go with uh we'll bring some Seahawks action in. Yeah. Seahawks champions. That might help. <laughs> Who is the only player to play for the Brisbane Lions, the Brisbane Bears, and the Fitzroy Lions? Um Brisbane, Brisbane, there is. Oh. I'm thinking Alice the Lynch. That's not a bad question. Um, because he did go there for, with big, big, big dollar deal, big long term contract. <laughs> Yep, oh, well, everyone's saying Lynchy. Oh, there you go. Correct. Rhino says correct. Bobby Skilton. Coming out with the Brownlow Gallery for the Swans. Or South Melbourne. Well, it was big dollars back, back then. Yeah, it turned out to be a bargain in the end. With all the pay rises, but at the time it was extraordinary. Oh, come on now. One is one. Love the common packs. Here we go. Hey, speaking of lions, Kevin Murray. Oh, I just that guy. Much respect. He wears his medal with proud and honour. Wears it every day of the year. Just great. Great to see. Instead of just being thrown in the cupboard or anything, it's it's out there. Who has got the lines, by the way? CJ. Then we got Peter Moore for Collingwood. Brownlow Gallery. For the Pies. For Brooksy. Neil Roberts for the Saints. 
around my gallery. And Blocker gets that one. Who was the last player to win the Brownlow and not make the All Australian team the same year? Oh, I was going to say Adam Cooney or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, Bulldog Murray is an institute at your club. Yes, definitely. Should always be. Yeah, Hazard, Harry Taylor for the Cats, all Australian. G'day, Taylor. How's it going? G'day, Tom Mitchell. Don Cordner for the D's. Brownlow Gallery. There's the Ebbs. Whoa, whoa, then. Uncle Fags reckons, Rhino. All right, who we got here? Well, we're up. we got the DPS, and we are on the Lions Trail at the moment. We got James H. DPS. Number 26. Not bad. Not bad at all. Still getting a kick, so good to see. Well done there, CJ. And we got Pritis. He said no, nope, no Uncle Fags. Hey, and we got Yablet. Next pack, Brownlow medalist. For the Suns. There's the Suns. Sam R with the Suns. Yeah, I like this bloke at the Lions. Yakamanis Sketch. So, the Lions for CJ. Lions supporter collector. Everyone's saying Prudis now. So, it must have been Prudis. Well done. Well done, Benjamin. Good answer. Bird and Howe for St Kilda. Saints coming up for Blocker. This. I saw Zorko hit on Ash a few weeks back. Like, really hit him in the guts. Lucky not to get a week. <laughs> hey, James Heard. Look at the Bombers. Around my gallery. There's the killer Myers. Herbie Matthews for the Swans, South Melbourne. All right, a little scuzz with the... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What we got here? You'll be up there. Redemption time. 2014 Premier's Redemption. You'll be up there. Three, seven, three. All right, there's a quiz for you. Who is the player <laughs> that we can redeem with the redemption? Obviously, it's a Hawks player. 214. Three, seven, three. That could be, actually, that could be like, that could be Sam Mitchell, actually. So the Hawks, who had the Hawks by the way? Well done. Well done, Sean. All right, Ryan Griffin for the Bulldogs, all Australian. Doggies, where's the doggies? Who's got them? Bungle. And we got Chubb Wingard for Port Adelaide. Goes to Matty, all Australian. Oh, we've got a bit of a stumped question there. Who is the redemption? The SIG is Sam Mitchell. Hey, that's one for me. <laughs> Thanks, Tom Mitchell. Norman Ware for the Bulldogs Brownlow Gallery. Uh, 
my doggy's doing all right now. Oh, and we've hit a Masters. Going all out in this one, we have the triple brown low medalist, Bobby Skelton. Your beauty, and it's even better. Double A four. Ripper. Ripper for the Swans. There's the little scars. Well done. Honours has definitely come out to play in this. Making up for the certified. What else we got here? We got Peter Box for the Bulldogs. Yep, foot's great. Sketch card. Another one for Bungle. Alright, uh, we got two two questions here. <laughs> we got Uncle Fags with what is Nor Norman Ware f famous for in footy? And we've also got who was the first team to win three premierships in a row from Rhino. A couple of quiz quick questions there. We got Graham Moss, Brownlow Gallery for the Bombers. Apart from, oh, what is Norman Ware, Ware famous for in footy? Apart from his Brownlow. All right, bit of an added on to that question. First team to win three in a row. Oh, I'll just say Geelong. Why not? And then you got Paddy Dangerfield for the Crows. All Australian. There's the Collector King. And I have no idea. Uh, Uncle Fag says Carlton with the three premierships in a row for Toronto. Robert. <laughs> Dipper, Dipper Domenico, <laughs> for the Hawks, nothing in that one, alright, let's see what's left in these packs, correct Uncle Fags with the Blues, well done, hey, Paul Kelly, for the Swans. Little Scar's doing well. Hey, Crawford. Shane Crawford. For the Hawks as well. No Norman Ware answers. Even Google not being used. Uh, I'm not sure. Myself, I can't exactly go to Google, but anyone else? Fags is waiting. What is Norman Ware famous for? Except he's brown low. Uh, we got nothing. Ah, oh, here we go. Only ever captain coach to win a Brownlow. Oh, there you go. There's the answer to the Norman Ware question. And Rhino's coming with another. Uh, what's Rhino? Which team lost their first 88 games? <laughs> I'll just I'll just say university or something. Malcolm Blight for the Kangas to finish it off. Yep, kangaroos, dart for life, gets that. Well, Honours definitely stepped up to the plate, brought us a uh, Redemption, a Masters, a nice DPS. Always good to see. Ah, it was, it was Fitzroy that lost their first 88 games of footy, wow. Did not expect that. Even <laughs> even Gold Coast won a game. 
Not true. Uncle Fag says it's not true. Oh, no, the ant, someone said Fitzroy. No. No, it wasn't Fitzroy. Ah, sorry, I read it wrong. My, my bad. All right. We well, got our first orange, first pack, and it's Andrew Gaff for the West Coast Eagles. 105. Right. Gaff on the board for Brendan. And, oh, a nice blue wave coming up. It's Pendles. Scott Pendlebury. And the Magpies. Number 83. Starting over there. And well done to the Pies, Brooksy. So, it wasn't Fitzroy and it wasn't what I said, University. Um, GWS. Oh. I'm just stab in the dark. All right, game breaker. Jack Billings for the Saints. Another one, another Saints card heading your way, blocker. Ooh, we got green, and it is Riley O'Brien for the Crows. Collect the king. Well done. Another one for the PC, number 55. It was one of the first eight teams. Ooh. Melbourne. They were one of the first eight teams. Oh, nothing there. Bears won their first two games. Oh. <laughs> These questions are great. Definitely get, definitely uh, got some um, ripper questions coming in. Trent Cochin, game breaker for the Tigs. He's got the Tigs again. Snacks, 28. Nope. Hey, the big tomahawk in orange for the cats, number 20. There's the EB. Uh, Fremantle, nope. Fremantle's out as well. They weren't in the first eight clubs, so Uncle Fags has even gone solemn on that question. Dylan Schill. Game breaker. For the Bombers. They also have won the most wooden spoons. Ooh. Probably Collingwood. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, who we got here? We got the Brownlow medalist. Lucky Neil. The Brizzy Lions on the blue wave, number 25. Lions doing great, going great guns. For CJ, CJ doing well. <laughs> Letting others answer, all right. Do I give, give it, Uncle Fags has put his answer in. Oh, who is correct? His answer was Richmond. Someone was correct. Luke Parker. Game Rakers for the Swans. Another one there for the Little Skiers. St. Kilda was the correct answer. Looks like. Dom Sheed, Game Breaker, the West Coast, another one there for Brendan.
I just really wanted it to be Richmond. <laughs> now, who's got the most ninths? Maybe that's the answer to that is Richmond. <laughs> Matty Crouch for the Crows. 164. Nice orange there for the Crows. Another one for Collector King. Update on West Coast, Brendan. Well, they're not doing too bad. They've hit an orange, game breaker, burst. They're on the board at least. And Langdon for the D's. Ebbs 88. It's that. 1 1 6. Oh, oh. I think I uh, I think I know this one, but I'll let others answer first. Who is the only team to win the wooden spoon and premiership in the same year? Don't like highlighting team losses, bad karma. Okay, fags, no worries. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Uncle Fags says the Mighty Lions. Oh, I was with Fags on that one too. Lucky Hunter. Game Breaker. For the Bulldogs. Is that correct? Is that correct, Rhino? Yeah, it was the Lions. Yay! Well done to Uncle Fags and me. Yay! This guy's going well this year. Harry McKay for Carlton. Leading the Coleman. 1 0 2. If he, if he kicks straight, he'd be leading by a lot more. But still doing very well for Tiger King. The Giants, Tim Taranto, Game Breaker. BWS goes to Kev. <laughs> yeah, it's weird that you can lose a lot of games and still like finish bottom and still win the Premiership. I suppose when there's only four teams in the league or what, four or five teams in the league, everyone makes the finals. <laughs> All right, Brandon Parfit, game breaker for the Cats. Another one for EB. Who? Oh, that this 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 question is a good one. All right, we have the Clearance King. It is Dom Shade for the West Coast Eagles. Oh, it's Harry time. Brendan's going to be happy. Double O one. Clearance King Shade, you beauty. Well done there. On has bringing the hits. All right, Uncle Fags has said, "Who has kicked the most behinds, most points in AFL VFL history?" I want to name an award after them. <laughs> 781 is how many they have kicked. Oh, that's a lot of points. Well, I'm um, Brendan on the 001. We'll come to Rhino's question soon. But I'll, I'll just do Uncle Fags' first. Rhino says, buddy. Is that correct? (laughs) 
I'll I'll say the not even close. Not not even close, Rhino. Wrong error. So you gotta go back a bit, I'd say. Oh I'm gonna go with Tony Lockett. Because the percentage, going by percentages, he's kicked the most goals, but they said he kicked about 60-odd percent. So he might have to be most points as well. Huh? Just guessing, I guess. Oh, Dan Hanabry, orange. The St. Kilda on the 200. All right, well, down to the Saints there. They score another hit. The blocker. The guy is also famous for something else. Very famous. And no awards named after him. Oh. Interesting. This is, this is a great... Great question, Fakes. Most points, no awards after him, and he's famous. Very Alice the Lynch. <laughs> Still side bottom. For the pies. Lockett was nearly 200. Behind this legend. Alright. <laughs> Rhino says Ablett. Alright. Here we go. Green time. Jack Gunston. For the Hawks. Number 48. The Hawks doing very well. They've hit the Premiership. And now they've got a nice green to go with it. All right, come on. All right, who we got here? Mitch Robinson. Game breaker for the Lions. No one for CJ. <laughs> oh, we're waiting for an answer, Uncle Fakes. There's been the answer of Ablett and Sumich and Chase Brownlow, which you said they haven't got an award after him, so they ain't him. Game breaker, Stephen Caniglio. <laughs> Oh, I, I think I know who, you, who you're talking about. And the clue is he makes Select's job very hard. And do I give the next clue? How, how good would 400 game sign cards be? All right. Here we go, another <laughs> clearance kings. There we go. Ash McGrath from the Bombers, number 81. Oh, the Bombers. Who's got the Bombers? They, were, they moved around the killer Myers. Well done. Another orangey. Jack Zebel. The North. 125. No, no one's answered. No one's answered yet, Uncle Fags. Oh, I knew as soon as he said the 400 game, obviously. But. Oh, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Dustin Martin Blue Wave, the Tig Snacks 28. Oh, you've just scored a beauty, Blue Wave. Just tell them, <laughs> number 43. 
Just in the house. No. Uncle Fag said just tell them it was Kevin Bartlett. Most points ever. <laughs> Dyson Happel. All the bombers. That was a ripper question. Well done, Uncle Fags. Well, the bombers have done well. Tides just come out of nowhere with a beauty. Eat them alive. <laughs> Oh, another orange cut up. Dane Rampy for the Swans. There's the little scars. 171. Put him up there. What else we got coming for the Suns? Hugh Greenwood. Game breaker. Back to your question. All right, back to Rhino's question. Let me scroll. The question is, how many Lions played in all three premierships from 2001 to 2003? There you go, Rhino. I'm going to say 15. Just number that popped in my head. 15 sounds like a good number. Uncle Fags, you might, you'd probably know this one. Who got, how many plays got the triple? For the Suns, Brandon Ellis. Orange, number 145. So the Suns are doing all right for Sam Ma now. Nope, not 15. <laughs> Close. Oh, well, I'll take that. I won't answer anymore. I'll give others a chance. What else we got here? Game breaker. Trent DeMont. North Melbourne. Dart for life. Is it? Yeah, Dart for life. Who else we got here? Yeah, Jack Martin. Game breaker. Carlton. Right, the Blues. Tiger King. Oh, no one's answered yet. Oi, and Trent DeMont, Blue Wave. Oh. Oh, number 19. I thought we were a chance there for a jumper. Not quite. Okay, well done there to North. Start for life. Ah, oh, strangely, Uncle Fags does not know this. Oi. Oh, another nice blue wave coming up. This this team's killed it. Jaeger O'Meara for the Hawks. Well done, Sean. Number 42. Bit of Jaeger in the house. You know you have 28 premiership players from that era. Well, well, there you go. Well, how many have we got? How many have got three premierships? And it ain't 15, because that's all I said. Oi, we got an extra bonus here. Brown low leaders, Jack Steele. That's St. Kilda. They've done well for Blocker. Number 46. We had 20 votes last year. Well done. You see there. That's all right. Last pack. It's a famous jumper number. Famous jumper. Oh, maybe 16 then. Being one of my favorites from Brisbane. Johnny Brown. <laughs> all right. I still, in my opinion, my opinion only, still the Probably one of the best, in my opinion, the best uh, Sonar forward. Just for his courageousness. David Mundy. Game breaker. And the game plan wasn't surrounded by him. Uncle Fag 16 is correct. 
Oh, oh, there we go. All right. Fags has got one more question. Then we'll we'll finish up with this question. Which Lions coach has the best winning percentage? Brisbane Lions era. <laughs> well, that's probably their best era. And we'll let we'll I'll let I'll let Rhino answer try and answer it. Give him a chance. He's giving me the answer, but we'll give you give you a chance, Rhino. Well, the break started slow, but it definitely turned into an absolute ripper. Double O one Premiership predict Premiership Redemption Masters Brownlow Leaders. Dusty Blue Wave, and the list goes on. Matthews. No, not Matthews, Rhino. It was Mark Harvey with 66%. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot. Oh, shout out to you, Rhino, and Uncle Fags for the um, questions during the break. Absolutely made my day. I right, it definitely... Um, helps when breaking and you you know busting and opening the cards is awesome but chatting to you guys as well while breaking is one of the best parts about it <laughs> I I enjoy I enjoy all of this it's always fun with Wi-Fi at Park Royal <laughs> No worries. All good. Uh, thanks, guys. Much appreciated. Well done to those who hit in the break. Plenty of good cards. We'll get them, get all these sent out for tomorrow. Um, check out gimco.com. If, also, if you want your hits sent registered or express, please hit me up. Otherwise, they'll be sent standard. Um, also, yeah, check out NFL. Let's see Dom again. Let's see Alex up there. It's always good to get the updates on how big he's getting. Alex the Great. Alex the Great Zoymek. Hey. <laughs> and um, also Christos. Let's see if we can make him um, shoot to the sky. Scream from the clouds. <laughs> with, with his NBA hitting the monster Lamello bells. Or ball, sorry. <laughs> and also a uh, sneaky NR, cheapy NRL up there as well. So plenty going on. Brownie will list the next AFL sometime today, tonight. So keep an eye out for that. But other than that, have a great day, everyone. Enjoy the rest of the week. Looks like it's nice out there at the moment. And see you on the next Gimka AFL break of the Catches.